And that's what we were able to learn. As of now, no significant force within the Empire is publicly opposing Dukes Aldric. However, once word of his activities gets out, I have faith opposition will emerge. I knew that fiend's slimy grin hid terrible secrets, but weaponizing lenses is a horror. And we now know there was more to the Norsefarian purchase than simply securing a foothold for invasion. I'm sorry to ask, Yelu, but your family? My parents didn't make it. That damnable cur! Sacrificing human lives to unlock the power of the rune lenses. It's totally unforgivable! <sighs> Yelu, look! Oh, Milu. <laughs> Me and Paul wanted to come through for the little guy, so we put our heads together and voila! What do you think? Pretty fierce, yeah? Nobody's gonna hurt you ever again, now that I've got this. No, Milu. They won't. Thank you. From what I'm hearing, it doesn't sound as if our military victory has dulled Aldrich's ambitions. His next move is coming. We can count on it. Another move on the League once he consolidates power within the Empire, perhaps? No. He's after something more. Especially considering what he did to Yelu's people. So what's the plan? I'll continue gathering intelligence. Otherwise, we grow our strength. That's the one thing we can control. Sure feels like this crap's gonna get worse before it gets better. Aw, oh, what's the matter, kiddo? Talk to your boss. I'm a fountain of sage advice, after all. No, I already got it. You need a belly full of grub and a good night's sleep. <laughs> yep, that's the ticket, all right. Not the worst advice I've ever heard. Take a day for yourself, Noah. Go back to your quarters and rest. Because tomorrow, that snout of yours is going right back to the grindstone. Ha ha ha! right? Leave it to me.
Stay safe out. Can I help you, perhaps? Then, an I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I'm a teleportation professional. Yes? Yes, sir! Count me in! Follow me! Come back alive, yes? I'm a teleportation professional. Does 
doesn't even count as exercise. Training is the friend that never betrays you. <sighs> What's a guy gotta do to make the world a better place? Hey, you! You ever heard of a man named Gokdo? Now there's someone who knows how to make a difference. I'd give an arm and a leg to work for him. I mean, if I knew where he ran off to. the general.
literally never failed it. Hmm. Perfect. As usual. Can I help you, perhaps? My thanks. Oh, all done then? Welcome to my establishment. How might I be of service? I was hoping you might be willing to join us. Pardon me, but are you suggesting that I join the Alliance? Why, that would be quite... quite... Mm. May I direct your attention to this brooch here? Its stone was rune cut, and as such, it commands a considerable price. Would you not agree that the cut is exquisite? The stone shines more brilliantly than any I've ever seen. Alas, the handiwork is not my own, and I yearn for a day when I could craft comparable splendor. Yet, I lack a necessary component to do so. The item in question is called a sparkle stone. They say the stones are hoarded by phantom birds, which appear in only the most verdant of forests. Oh, how I wish to one day behold its sparkle with my own eyes! Were you the sort of fellow who could acquire such a prize? Oh, I would certainly have no reservations about opening a shop under your auspices. Okay, a sparkle stone it is. I'm a teleportation professional.
What wisdom do you seek? Zippity lips, so oh, pada mind, shablooey! Pada mind shablooey! Zipper de lips, so oh, pada mind shablooey! Pada mind shablooey! Pada mind shablooey! I await your return. I have literally never failed at this. Not once. Here we go. Want me to join you? Good eye, brother. Very good eye indeed. I am Gigina, mightiest of all beast warriors. And those who know me best name me the Stone Lion. My goal in life is to gain strength, so I only join with the toughest of the tough. You are a lion! A lion! I've never seen anyone with such power! If you and I join forces, the sky is the limit! The sky of strength! That's it! You and me are teaming up!
I'm a teleportation professional. The place, so it is. Peaks must sniffer in all the right ways. Are you looking for something? What? Who in blazes are you? And how'd you get the drop on me? Oh, sorry about that. I'm Noah, and I'm just trying to help. Could a pig stuck me, but didn't. Looks like there be trustworthy humans after all. Well, the name's Galdorf, and I'm a rising star among dwarven warriors. It's an honor to meet you, Galdorf. Noah, was it? Do I smell a bit of transcultural friendship in the way you be speaking to me? Uh, I guess. Anyway, you seemed like you needed a hand, so... Deed I do, deed I do. I'm looking for what's called Pale Night Meal. It's crafted from the ore what's mined here. Rising dwarf star like myself ain't but naked without it, you see. But brave as I be, if I tackles this cave alone, I gots me a 50%. No, a 73%. No, an 89.9% .9 chance things are gonna go sideways right quick. The nearer the prize, the stubbier the fingers, if you get what I'm seeing. Uh, would you like me to go find this Pale Knight mail for you? Glory be! This one's gonna brave a dungeon for me without my even asking! Fala's got a name, and it be Noah. Noah, my exemplar of Vala! Remember, you promised to be fetching that Pale Knight mail for me. I'm counting on ya. Noah, my exemplar of valor. One perfect teleportation. Huh. Hit the hammock, Cully. The war will be waiting in the morning.
Oh, hey, Leon. Okay, there's clearly something wrong, so spit it out. Just a lack of confidence, I guess. Periel roped me into being commander, but I'm not sure I'm the right person for the job. Mm, yeah, I guess her ladyship did sort of sucker you into this, huh? You think so too? Look, let me ask you something. How did you feel about those things Sane and Yalu told us today? They made me sick and furious. And how about what happened to your home? I'll never let anything like that happen again, obviously. Okay, so isn't that enough? You're a man of pure, honest, emotional reactions, which is why her ladyship tapped you to be the big cheese. And for what it's worth, I... Well, I know you giving it your all will help me rise to the occasion, too. You mean it? Of course she means it. No one's asking you to change. All you have to do is keep being yourself. Um, Master Sane? Oh, Yelu. I'm sorry I wasn't able to save your parents. Don't be. We were strangers to you. You owed us nothing. <sighs> I just... Well, I wanted to know... Why did you help us? Though I understand completely if you feel differently, I still believe good yet remains in the Empire. So I continue to fight for my homeland, even if it means betraying it. So... Well, I guess I needed to prove I was right. <sighs> that must sound so selfish to you. doesn't change your actions. It doesn't change what you did for us. How soon before the Dukes makes his move, would you say? Not long. I fear the intelligence we've received paints a most distressing picture. The upcoming fight will be uh, difficult. Would you handle it? Run to the edge of the world and dig a very deep hole. Because I fear that's exactly how far I'd have to go to stay out of the Duke's reach. So what's stopping you? I don't own a shovel. Therefore, I have decided to undertake the next best option. Defeating him. <laughs> you certainly don't lack for confidence. I was under the impression you'd arrived at the same decision. Of course. I've a promise to deliver on, after all.
pretty sure their castle's just ahead. Then let's pay him a visit. Never failed at this. Is this the right? Uh. to see you. Ah, there you are. Something wrong? You might say that. You should come to the Great Hall. Hey, mate. Good to see you in one piece. Likewise. But what are you doing here? The Empire is on the move again. Pooby poo! Their sights are apparently no longer set on you, Chris, but on Norrister to its west. Norrister is, of course, one of the League of Nations' three major powers, along with Eucris and Kinan. The Dukes isn't even trying to conceal his designs on the League anymore. Which means whatever he does next 
won't be subtle. Although Norrister's only part of the problem, we've caught wind of another threat, but don't yet know the scope of it. Oh, and the Empire has also been pursuing the Room Barrows with renewed ferocity. Well, that's a mess. Still, it sounds to me like our first priority is getting to Norrister. I agree. I'm hearing all sorts of things from my sources, so we should determine what's happening there for ourselves. I shall return to you, Chris, for negotiations. If Yuma gets cold feet again, someone must be there to hold them to the fire. We could send the expedition with you. You, Chris, is along the way. Actually, the Guardians can offer a better route. There's a high road through the Great Wood that'll get you to Nordstar much faster. Plus, sticking to the forest will make it easier to escape pursuers or ensnare them. No one knows those woods better than me. In that case, lead the way. Happy to. You don't got a thing to worry about, mate. Who else will be going with you? Lend a hand. Let's continue the fight, Noah! to go? Yeah, all set. To reach the Guardian High Road, we'll head south to the bridge, then double back north after we cross. There's a secret entrance to the forest there. Good luck, Noah. I shall see you anon in Norrister.
fight even necessary? Sword! Is this the place? Yep. The Eldroads just ahead, which will take us to my village, Yarnan. Nordstar is just a short hop from there. The Eldroad? That's right. The Guardians have a sworn duty to protect everything beneath these trees, and the Rune Barrows especially. People say the Eldroad is actually a part of those ruins. However, we mostly use it now to monitor and defend key sites throughout the forest. It's a handy way to get around. Still, there are plenty of monsters hanging around, so stay on your toes. Sounds good. Now let's hurry and put a stop to whatever the Empire's up to. Agreed. They've done enough harm already. from a book. Not good. Did it see us? What was that? A dragon youngling. We're trespassing on its territory. Youngling? But it was huge. Yeah, well, dragon. Trifle with any of their kind? And it's the last thing you do. Oh, nice of you to mention that, because... Here it comes! <laughs> T 
to arms! Perhaps this is to your taste. Thank you so much! Here's a little Guardian Arcana. Uh, 
Sorry. This'll do. You all right? Let's appreciate it. Come on. We need to focus here. This can't be good. Sorry. I'm out. What? The rest of me is in your hands. I can fight no longer. Arts is an explosion. God, my soul is ablaze. I need to release the 
geezer of feelings burning inside me. I need a workshop. A space where I can explode into joy, in a color. If you know of one, you have to let me know. Arts it God! I need a workshop. A space where I can explode it. Never failed at this. Not once. Hmm. All right. One perfect teleportation. Teleportation professional. Hmm. Perfect. As usual. Is this what you're looking for? Rocky boulders, pale nightmare. Now I must step closer to being the most stalwart of all dwarven warriors. Hey, if you're happy, I'm happy. Oh, I couldn't be more grateful. But words is just words, don't you know? From this day forward, I 
Galdorf, rising dwarven star, and soon to be the greatest and most ferocious of my kind, is gonna join ya. Wait, really? That's great. Don't you worry, Nun. I'll find my way to your headquarters. I have literally never failed at this. Not once. Here we go! Uh, I mean, this is the right place. Yes. Piece of cake. It's my duty to keep getting stronger. Not good. Did it see us? What was that? A dragon youngling. We're trespassing on its territory. Youngling? But it was huge. Yeah, well, dragon. Trifle with any of their kind? And it's the last thing you do. Oh, nice of you to mention that, because here it comes! Big trouble coming this way!
to grow. Do this. Yeah, ha! So 
Let's try this. Yeah. Right, come on. Nothing to worry about. Even I'm a little impressed. My turn, yes? against this training. And stay the hell down! Oh, excuse me. Is the exit much farther? We'll be in your non soon. Come on. So, this is your village, huh? Identity confirmed. Marissa. And Guru! Boy, are we glad to see you guys! <sighs> is something wrong? The Revenants are back! And this time, they're trying to get into the village! They're coming after Yarnan? Pooby? Is this that other threat you mentioned? Could be. Hard to imagine those bone walkers working with the Empire. But the timing sure is suspect. So where are they now? South of the village common. Okay, I gotta run on ahead. As will I. Marissa, I know you have only just returned, but we could use you there. I won't let those revenant monsters destroy my home. Let's get over there, Noah. Right behind you.
someone want to tell me how they got this far? What are our scouts doing? <laughs> Only a fool would think to stand in my way. Which explains why you are here. But you humans are always so annoyingly defiant. Yeah, strong words coming from a walking xylophone. I'm surprised you're even capable of speech. <laughs> you stand in the awesome presence of Marcus, King of the Revenants. Prostrate yourself before me, and I will grant you service in my eternal thrall. It is a great honor. Uh, prostrate ourselves? Why would we do that? <laughs> After 300 years of life, or is it death? Regardless, it comes as no surprise to the great Marcus that you humans are incapable of comprehending my wisdom. So let me simplify it for your feeble minds. <clears throat> Surrender to me. Give up, cry, and mew. Elsewise, my revenant army will descend upon this land like flies on a fresh corpse. Yield your lives to me. You know what? I don't think I like this guy's tone. Are these the invaders? You stand in awe of Marcus, King of the Revenants. We what now? So you're what? A living corpse? I am no mere corpse. You stand in awe of the Skeleton King himself, the master of death. And that's supposed to scare us into surrendering? <laughs> it seems you cannot fathom the benevolence I am extending. Perhaps a display of my power will help. A mere wisp should be enough to make you heed reason. Um, guys? What's he doing? Hey, stop that! Uh-uh. Stop! Do this. Here's a little guardian arcana.
These boys are tough. Never drop your guard around these ruffians. Never! How sad you cannot recognize such a pure act of mercy. Why do you persist in defying me? Time remains to you, but precious little. Collect your wits and reconsider my offer. Reconsider. Threaten us all you want, but I'll never let you take my home from me. We shall meet again. <laughs> Okay, I really don't like that guy. I never dared get this close before. Okay, what was all that about? He appeared to be demanding our surrender. Was that the mysterious other threat I heard about? We've been getting reports about packs of revenants, so... Yep. Probably is. Don't know why he'd march in here with such small numbers, though. Eh, chalk it up to overconfidence, maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure that's all it is. Nothing more sinister afoot. Well, our duty is clear either way. Nice fighting, Marissa. And you. You're the resistance leader, right? Knew at the moment I laid eyes on you. Marissa said you had a certain look. Just know she's like a kid sister to me, so you better treat her with respect. We clear? Uh, wave, shut up. <laughs> anyway, moving on. The name's Wave, and I lead the Guardian's response team. We gotta report this to the Grand Warden, but I'm sure he'll also want to hear from Noah. So how about you all tag along? It's a pleasure to see you again, Noah. I'll go on ahead. Please, come tell me what happened when your task is completed, Marissa. Sorry about Wave's whole protective brother shtick. Is he really your brother? Wave? Nah. He's not that much older than us. So, Captain or no, it just feels like we're family. We should head over to the Grand Warden's place. Wouldn't mind grabbing a bite, either.
Well met, Commander Noah of the Alliance. Wave has explained the situation. Noah got dragged into trouble the moment he arrived. But he proved himself a capable warrior. I understand you've seen signs of Imperial movement. Yeah. So to explain, we Guardians have a duty to protect the area of the Great Wood and the Rune Barrows there. And part of that overlaps with the Norsefarian territory the League recently handed over to the Empire. That's how one of our patrols saw the Imperial Army amassing troops there. Which was all before the Revenants came along. The Elves sent a warning as well. They saw a group outside the area of operations, searching for... Well, we're not sure what exactly. <sighs> Leave it to Lakian to bring that information to Lillowin instead of me. Doesn't he trust me at all? It did come to you. You chose not to read it. That group sounds like the one that attacked Yelu's village. Yes, I heard something about that, but it was outside of our sphere of operations. Sorry all the same. This series of suspicious events was why we sent Marissa and Guru as envoys. If the Empire launches a full-fledged attack, even the combined forces of the Guardians and Norrister won't be enough to stop them. We'll need the strength of the whole League. Never knew you had it in you to look at the big picture, mate. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm still all about living the easy life. But if you want to earn a life free of worry, it's going to take some thinking. And maybe even some fighting. So where do we come in? You should go to the North Starry capital of Atherabolt and seek an audience with their king, Salas Bailrund. Simply exit through the West Gate and travel southwest. I've already informed them we'll be sending emissaries. Noah from the Alliance, Marissa to represent the Guardians, and Alwi for the Elves. Wow, Wave, you're- Hey, when push comes to show. B. Oh, and I'd like Nil to go too. Consider yourself Marissa's chaperone. Are you certain I am adequate for this task? It certainly wouldn't hurt for you to see more of the outside world. Heck, might even refresh a memory or two. Thank you very much, Wave. It will be my great honor to accompany you, Marissa. Enough with the formality. We're friends, remember? Yes, of course. My most sincere and humble apolo- Ugh. You're not going, Wayne? Nah. Marissa's young, but she's a guardian warrior. They'll respect that. Besides, I got that whole Revenant army thing to deal with. Not to mention a gaggle of Imperials in my backyard. Oh, that's quite the list. I think I'll hang back and give you a hang. I'm all yours, bestie. Look after yourself, Commander. I hope your journey to Norristar will prove a fruitful one. Thank you, Grand Warden. Come on, Noah. Let's go.
glad we get to travel together again, Noah. My name is Nil. I am most humbly pleased to make your acquaintance. Are you a guardian too, Nil? You're certainly very unique. I discovered Nil in a room, Barrows. I've got no idea who she is or where she comes from, and neither does she. Some idiots think she's a rune golem, but she certainly doesn't act like one. Sadly, my memory banks are empty. The first thing I remember is opening my eyes and seeing Marissa. No and I have that in common. No ties to the past. I don't even remember what my parents looked like. It's gotta be tough. Poopy poo. The other guardians have been kind since they took me in. Could this perhaps be another thing we have in common, Marissa? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. There's no question you're known as my home now, and the people are my family. And that includes you, Nell. I am most grateful for the privilege, Marissa. Look, don't do that. Don't do what, Marissa? Don't act like I'm doing you a favor. That's the whole point of being friends. Understood. I will try to adjust my behavior. Oh man, I envy you two. I wish my brother Lakian was as forthcoming with affection. Wave often states that the whole Lilowin thing complicates your relationship. Yet he has never expounded on what the whole Lilowin thing is. Perhaps you could elaborate. What? No! Uh, I, I mean, there's... <laughs> there's nothing to, uh... Don't hold out on us, are we? Yes, I also wish to know. Okay, so Lakian is interested in Lilowin, but Lilowin has already got a thing for Mo- La 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 la, he doesn't know anything. Now let's just go and pretend the whole last minute never happened. Yes, we can go now. <laughs> Look at us go. <laughs> Such perplexing creatures. And so his sinewed flesh was but the hilt, his blade, the robust mind that sinew built. Ah, 
the words ring true. It is a nice poem. Ah, the boy speaks my language then. We shall get along fine. I am Goldsmith, a humble steerin who seeks to perfect his body while serenading his mind. I am Goldsmith, a humble steerin who seeks to perfect his body while serenading his mind. I'm Noah. Um, I couldn't help but notice... You like to travel heavy, don't you? Oh, I must, as I visit many lands and must be ready to make camp. Whether I to peak or valley go, this body is my sole conveyance. No wonder you're built like a mountain. <laughs> ha! Am I? Such a honeyed compliment I must repay with a merry rhyme. The reed that never bends, good fortune shall attend. My words to live by, if you will. In any journey, there is hardship, but stand strong, and you will be rewarded. This time, my reward was a local delicacy. <laughs> But enough of me. What brings you here? Actually, I'm looking for stalwart allies. I see. This explains the dire mood hanging over the world. Yes. And I've been scouring the world for people to help me stop it. Can I count on you, Goldsmith? I see no reason to decline. Great! Then should we... But I see no reason to assent. Is strength that important? And so his sinewed flesh was but the hilt, his blade the robust mind that sinew built. Strength begets spirit, boy. Bring me a comrade whose strength is greater than mine. Mind you, a burly body is not built in a day, but take the time you need. I believe I will remain here a spell. But wait, hold, hold. Let me take a closer look. Pretty impressive, right? You did it, Noah! You showed incredible determination! So you'll join us? His passion stirred the Steeran's blood. Brave Noah, meet your brand new stud. I journey with you now, boy. Gosh dang, you are a hot helping of beef. <laughs> the steerin take pride in their supple sinew. My power is yours. coming up. Is this the right...
This'll be a cinch. Order up! Thank you so much! Here's a little Guardian Arcana! You're done! We won! Not sure Perhaps you even need me for this one. Chance. You're mine! Oh, baby! Here's a little Guardian Arcana! Ah! Ah! Sword! Activating room. This is the end. We won! <laughs> If it isn't Noah, I hear you've built yourself quite a town. See, I told you you'd go far. I suppose you'll be needing an item shop. 
There's this guy I know named Hiro who might be up to the task. You have a place with us. Now that's what I like to hear. You've got yourself a deal. This'll be a cinch! This will be a cinch. Here's a little guardian arcana. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Deploying. Got a little prison for you. We got him. No sweat.
Threat level low. Here's a little guardian arcana. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Deploying. Got a little prison for you. We got him. That's what you get. Resorting to violence. There. Here's a little guardian arcana. Oh. Hey, Noah. Everything okay? What do you mean? I don't know. You look a little distracted. <sighs> yeah, maybe. I guess I can tell you. There's been some Griffin sightings. Here one day, there the next. You know how it is with rumors. So, you want help hunting the Griffin down? No. But the way people have been describing it... I keep thinking... What if it's him? Poppy B.
Yes. Call me if you need my skills. Sure. But I ain't coming out. Done then. Can I help you, perhaps? Superb, no?
please come by and Professional. Is this the right? Uh, I mean, this. What? I'm extremely busy, so if you want some... Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm looking for a healer to join up with us. Us who? Is this about the Alliance? I imagine they would need my talents. But if you think you can say a few pretty words and get me to drop everything, forget it. I'm not going anywhere without a show of good faith. Meaning what? Bring me 15 healing herbs. Simple, right? If you can't handle a task like that, then you're not worth my time. Will these herbs cover you? Hmm. You're sharper than a thought. All right, fine. Wait there. Make a tisan and give some to everyone. Starting with the most seriously afflicted. <gasps> Look at this stack of herbs! It's enough to save everyone! How can we ever repay your kindness, Dr. Falward? You've been looking after all of us for so long. I could cry. Well, don't. Spare me the sentiment and distribute the medicine. The longer you dawdle, the worse their chances. Do you hear me? Yes, Doctor. This village has been flooded with refugees. Some wounded, others in such poor health that illness is quick to spread. But those herbs you brought will give them all a fighting chance. I accept your show of good faith, and I thank you for it. Then you'll join us? A promise is a promise. My services as a healer are yours and the Alliance's. No, is that an invitation to be stupid and throw yourselves into danger? No. Needless heroism should be left at the door. I can't bring back the dead, but if you have the good sense not to cast yourselves headlong into an early grave, I'll patch you up, because so help me, that's the job. Now, I shall be on my way. Doctor, thank you. You're so kind and generous. When I told you to rest, I didn't say, except for needless displays of gratitude, did I? Stop making your condition worse. Yikes. <laughs> Huh. 
Hey there, what are you in the market for today? Stalwart companions. Uh, I can check to see if we have some in back. Oh, you meant me. Okay, I'm interested. But you really gotta let me punch up your style game first. <laughs> I can't be seen with a man who wastes his looks dressing like that. Do you think this breastplate looks great on you? Oh, especially with this shirt here. Oh my gosh, look at you, that's perfect. Why not try on this armor too? Oh, definitely. This is so you. See, I knew there was a good looking guy buried under all that blah. All right, that settles it. I think I like you. So that's one stalwart companion at your service. And it just so happens I've been looking for a nice quiet place to ply my trade anyway. Join us. All right, it is on. My name is Frida, and I'm your new armorer. I'll keep you safe in battle, and make sure you look damn good while I'm at it. There we go, my little friends. Grow up hale and hearty for me. Ah, don't mind me. I was just tending these crops. Did you need something? Actually, I'm seeking out new recruits. Oh, you're from the Alliance? Well, I don't know the first thing about fighting. Don't care much to learn, neither. Work in the fields is all I know. Would that be of any help to you? I sure wouldn't mind having some land of my own. There's nothing I love more than seeing my veggie pals grow big and strong. Then come grow them for the Alliance. We have no shortage of bellies to fill. Oh, you don't say! Well, planting a field is planting in the future, you know. War might be here, but folks don't stop needing to eat. Without a hearty bowl of grub, the war will be over before your troops even swing a sword. <laughs> or maybe I've just eaten more than my peck of dirt. I love it. That's so poetic. Shucks! Ain't no one's ever called me a poet before. So, are you sure there's a place for me in the Alliance? Join us. Well, righty-o. The name's Peter. Mighty glad to meet ya. I'll work those fields day and night to keep the bellies of all my new pals happy and full.
I have literally never failed at this. Not once. Here we go. I'll win again. Oh, dang it! That's ten times in a row! I'm gonna get better and crush you! Just you wait! Bring it on. I'll accept that challenge any day of the week. Oh, yeah! And with that, my deck just got even stronger. Hmm? Uh, hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah! You! Over there! You like card games? Sure, I dabble. Can I give it a try? Now that's what I like to hear. Let's get right to it, my friend. Here are the rules. That clear enough? First deck's on me. I want everyone to love this game as much as I do. Oh, I get it. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun. Can't tell you how happy I am to hear you say so. Let's play. You got it. I'll try not to burn you too bad with my mega powerful Scorcher deck. You're on. Let the duel begin. Turn. Card of Destiny. Here I, I go. choose you. Beat this. My turn. Card of Destiny. My I turn. choose you. Beat this. My turn. Card of Destiny. Here I, I go. choose you. Looking good. Cool. Only need one more. My turn. You won't stop me now. Cool. Ultimate battle formation. Here I go. I'm gonna win this! Cool! Ultimate battle formation! My turn! This is Carl. My turn. Shh. 
showdown! Gotcha! No way! My turn! Card versus card! Here I go! Showdown! You never had a chance! G got me! Yes! No b- Ha ha! Ah, th You did put up a- Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. Come challenge me again, yeah? I'm always here. Let the duel begin! My turn! Card of Destiny! My I turn. choose you! Beat this! Draw! Card of Destiny! Here I, I choose go. you! Beat this! Take that! My turn! Looking good! My turn! Ultimate battle formation! Here I go! Beat this! Draw! Only need one more! Here I go! I'm gonna win this! Ultimate Battle Formation! My turn! Looking good! My turn! The duel is on! Gotcha! No way! Here I go! I'm gonna win this! Cool! Card versus card! You never had a chance! me my turn looking good my turn card versus card my turn showdown gotcha no way! Yeah, I- <sighs> Huh? I lost? More like, I won? Dang. You are seriously good at this. Well, that sells it. I'm going with you, friend. Only way to get stronger. Wait, really? And once I do, I'm going to take you down in a rematch. <laughs> the name's Glenn, 
by the way. Lead on. Okay, sure. I'm always happy to have more comrades. So, do you, like, fight using the cards as shurikens or something? <laughs> what? Don't be stupid. The cards are for playing the game, man. But I will teach everyone in that town of yours how to play and kick butts that way. It'll boost morale. Probably give you a stronger army in the long run. You can thank me later. <laughs> I was pathetic. You thought you could beat me with that flimsy little toy? Destroyed. No, my top. If you want revenge, then you better get good. Not that you'll ever have the skills to outspin me. <laughs> Man, I'm so pathetic. Rest in peace, Absolute Zero. What was that all about? I just got demolished at Bakoma, that's what. And worse still, that guy smashed my top to pieces. Poor Zero. The little guy was always there for me. Through thick and thin. Hold on. What's Big Goma? Huh? Why? Are you looking to spin with the rest of us? Uh, maybe. I am a little curious. Then you should go see the spin doctor. His mansion's up this way. Dr. Cork will teach you everything there is to know about throwing down at Bagoma. I'm heading there too, so I can avenge Zero. See you around, maybe. If it isn't our newly minted Spinadier, I bid you welcome, Noah. Newly minted what now? Spinadier, of course. Under my tutelage, you will challenge mighty foes and reveal the deeper truths of the Bagoma top. Oh, indeed. A Bagoma duel is no less than a clash of human wills. When you spin a top, its inexplicable movements are a manifestation of the Spinadier's own will. Essentially, the top is expressing the very trajectory of life. Um... You really think these little tops have that kind of power? 
Let me put it this way. You are a man beset by all sorts of daily fears and worries, yes? A top can dispel those concerns. How, you ask? Because the top is an embodiment of your innermost will. My innermost will? Now, select your favorite top from those three varieties. Then, you will throw yourself into a Begoma duel, a clash of violent passions that will demonstrate your inner strength to all the world! Okay, got it. Oh my! You actually understood that? As soon as I saw the tops, I could sense they contained a mysterious power. And that is why you are destined to walk the path of a spinadier. I present to you three choices. A fire top, a water top, and a wind top. Select your first partner. I choose the fire top. Ah, so it's burning passion that drives you. An excellent choice. So now what? First, you should give your new partner a name. A token of respect, if you will. A name, huh? Let's go with World Peace. Oh, ho, ho, ho. very nice. Now, for your first duel, and as luck would have it. <laughs> I knew you'd show up. You had Into Spin written all over your face. Oh, it's you again. The names read, a fellow Begoma soul searcher. And you're just in time. Ready to test our nascent spinadier on the field of battle? My pleasure. You can't truly know a top until you've seen it in action. How do you think yours is gonna spin? I have no idea. Well, I guess you did just pick it out. But I'm ready to give it a spin and see what my heart has to say. That's the spirit. Let's do this. But just so you know, I've carefully calculated every angle of attack, how much court to wind, you name it. And I am 100% gonna wipe the floor with you. You wish. Nothing is certain until the tops have been spun. Then prepare to witness the strength of Neo Absolute Zero. Get ready, world peace. It's Begoma time. Stand by for battle. Let's spin! Begama stuff has a lot of depth to it. Oh, heck yeah! If you ever want a rematch, just ask. I won't say no.
back for a Here we Let's spin! My calculations were spot on. This big of Oh, heck yeah! Can't expect a newbie like you ever want a rematch. Just ask. I won't say no. Never failed at this. Not once. Here we go. Hmm. Perfect. As usual. All right. One perfect teleportation coming up. Is this the right... Uh... I mean, this is the right place. Yes. What's happened here? Are you alright? What? Water. Water. Got it. And uh, food. Just hold on, okay? Thank you. You saved my life. I'm just glad we came by when we did. 
But how in the world did you end up lying half dead in a place like this? I was on a journey and got lost in some barrows. I wandered and wandered and ended up here. Apologies for the trouble. What were you doing in those barrows to begin with? I sought to solve the mystery of a curse that is carved into my own flesh, the rune lens that exists within me. Even now, it... Uh, it... Oh! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! The rune lens... Ah! It aches! Ah! Ah! What are you trying to tell me, O oh curse of mine? Answer me! Answer me now! Ah! Are you certain, Runelands? You say this is my destiny? Uh, um... Ha! My name is Leon Lesoud, and I am a traveling sorcerer and swordsman. Or so, demand the whims of fate. And now that self-same fate has guided me here. It seems the time has come for me to fulfill the role laid out before me. <laughs> Worry not, my new companions. I assure you, I'm far more adept with my blade and spells than it may appear. Uh, and thank you for the bread you brought me earlier. It was delicious. Wait, back up. Are you saying you intend to join us? I already have joined you at the behest of my runelands. I am at your service, Noah. Why? Why? What is it? You want more bread? Uh -huh. mood, are we? Charming, don't you think? Place for a battle.
The crops will love this. Well then, another time. All right. Marissa, Noah, Nil. Okay, everyone's here. Uh, let's go! You seem eager to depart, Aoi. Mm, I think he just wants to get moving before you dredge up that thing from before. If we head southwest from here, we should see Norrister's capital city of Athrobolt before we know it. Right. Let's go. This is Atherbalt? Sure is. There are so many people here. I hope I won't get any strange looks. Anybody bothering you is gonna catch a swift boot to the backside. I am very happy you care for me so, Marissa. But please, do not be booting any backsides on my behalf. Oh, here we go. The girls are practically inseparable already. What do you say, Noah? Wanna buddy up? I look forward to getting to know you, Aoi. Really? Well, that's great. Guess you gotta be open to all kinds to command the Alliance, huh? Shame my brother Lakian doesn't share your tolerance. Let's can the grumbling and get moving, all right? Oh. We're headed to the castle of Norrister's King Salas Belrand, I believe.
This is the castle of His Majesty King Salas Bailrunt. No visitors are allowed inside without permission. Uh, don't we have permission? Yes. Wave said His Majesty had been informed in advance of our visit. Maybe something got lost in transit? Listen, bud. We got an emissary of the Guardians and the Commander of the Alliance here. Dear me, but this is no way to treat a lady. Marissa of the Guardians, I presume. Do you know who I am? Wait, lady? Forgive me. I am Maxim of the Naristuri Army. As I recall, you visited this castle once before, while escorting your Grand Warden during a ceremonial affair. I can't believe you remember that. I have something of a gift for names and faces, particularly those of beautiful women. I shall announce your arrival to His Majesty at once. Might I inquire as to your entourage? I'm Alwi, an elf of the Fawood clan and younger brother to Lakian Arkathis Fawood. And you are here as his emissary? Uh, sure. Something like that. I'm Noah, commander of the Alliance. Ah, I have heard word of your achievements in the battle for Eucharist. You are most welcome here. And the young lady? I am Nil, a friend of Marissa. A dear friend. Poby. Then you are important guests indeed. Please follow me. He seems like a very nice man. Sure does. You positive about that? Uh, you two definitely need to learn not to trust people so easily. Oh, is that right? The nation of Norista welcomes you, Guardian Warrior Marissa, and you as well, Commander. I am told your name is Noah. Greetings, Your Majesty. I have come as an emissary of the Grand Warden. And I'm here to stop Dukes Aldric of the Empire. Yes, we are aware of the Empire's recent activities. Dukes Aldric, that snake, pretending to strive for peace while secretly harboring designs on our territory. A rumor has it, the Emperor's assassination was his doing as well. Truly, he is the most vile of scoundrels. I am General Electra, commander of Norister's military. I have already sent to Kinan to request reinforcements. Am I to understand you have already dispatched an envoy to you, Chris Noah? Yes, Periel went personally. Countess Groom, you say? <laughs> well, considering she's as much to blame for igniting this conflict as Aldric, I'm glad she's at least attempting to make up for it. This war isn't her fault. Isn't it, though? That woman is the one who decided to pick a quarrel with the Empire and ruffle the Dukes' feathers. She dashed all hopes of diplomacy before it could even begin! 
If I may, Your Majesty, I can foresee several possible routes the Empire could use to launch an attack against Norister. Until the League's armies are amassed in our territory, our forces will be focused on trying to figure out the Empire's plan without committing ourselves to a mistaken position. And it's not just the Empire you have to worry about. There's also a Revenant Horde on the move. So I understand. Although we have been unable thus far to determine their purpose. Is it possible they're helping the Empire? Perish the thought. We don't need things getting any worse. Still, all we can do at the moment is wait and see. King Salas! Are you in here? You there! Halt! Somebody, please! You stand before King Salas. Identify yourself. Um, r right. Of course. I'm Rudy from the village of Skris. We've got kids who need your help. You cannot just barge in here. Enough, Maxime. Tell us about these kids, child. Um, it's my little brother and his friends. They went into a nearby cave on a dare and never came out, and it's been two days! And why bring this to your king? Has your village not raised a search party? We did, but the cave was full of monsters and they had to fall back. But what if my brother and his friends are further inside? Legend has it there's a giant monster living at the heart of the cave. We... we can't save them without your help. Please, Your Majesty! Right, no time to waste. I'll put together a capable team and... You will do no such thing. Your Majesty... The Imperial Army stands ready to beat down our door. We are in no position to reposition any troops, no matter how few. Yet your subjects are in danger, Majesty. It would be most unlike you to ignore their pleas. We're in the middle of a crisis here. I will forgive your barging into my hall, young man, but I can spare no soldiers for this matter. But my brother and his friends are all gonna die! I'll, I'll go. go. Poor baby! Huh? Who are you? I'm a guardian, and he's the commander of the Alliance. How's that for backup? Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! Is this acceptable, Your Majesty? Seeing as they're here as our guests, I suppose I'm in no position to object. I trust you can handle the particulars, General Electra. Of course. So where's this Skris you're from? Northwest of here, up in the White Crowns. We should hurry. B. Right, follow me! Maxim, I want you to accompany them as well. I think His Majesty can forgive the absence of a single man. Please. Of course, General. I will not disappoint. Wait, but isn't the Allied army coming here from a different route? And what if the village sends a message? I will remain behind to handle such affairs. Thanks, Nell. I appreciate it. 
If that's settled, we should depart. Allow me to escort you, ladies. I see. Good hunting, all of you. Be careful. All right, the rescue team is on the case. Our bearing is, uh... It's northwest of here. 
Don't worry, Rudy. We'll save those kids. I shall do all in my power to aid you. Do I need to shove this into your brain on the end of a spear to get you to move? no fair fight. Well, how'd it go, Rudy? Uh, are they sending help? You're looking at it. This is Marissa of the Guardians, and Noah, Commander of the Alliance. I take it those kids are still in the cave? We don't have much time. Let's go save them. Oh, thank you so much. The cave is on the north side of the village, but it's full of horrible monsters. Please, my daughter's down there. You have to save her. On my honor, as a Nari Story captain, your children will be rescued. I didn't realize how cold it'd be up here. All the more reason to reach them quickly. And once we do, I wouldn't say no to a nice, hot bowl of stew. We'll make all the stew what you can eat, sir. Just please, save him. Come on, let's go! So this is the cave? Yeah. Don't worry. Noah, Marissa, and I will take care of everything. Perhaps you've forgotten that I am also part of this rescue effort. And I'm still with you too! 
I mean, from inside a bag. But still... We're wasting time. Let's move. What's this? Over there! <laughs> Rudy! I was so scared! Oh, don't worry, Juss. You're safe now. Ah, <sighs> that's a relief. People pay. Where are the other kids? I don't know, mister. We got separated while we were running. It's okay. We'll find the other three. In the meantime, stick close to us. Got it? Uh -huh. On we go, then. What the? I... I can't move! Don't panic, Noah. Shift your weight left and right as hard as you can, and you should be able to break free. Phew. You were right. You know, that was kind of fun. Quit messing around, Noah. End of the line? What we're gonna do is encase ourselves in ice and slide down. The momentum will carry us across the gaps. That has to be the daftest idea I've ever heard! You only live once. Let's try it. You picked the wrong fight. What? Here's a little guardian arcana.
Let's do this. What? Here's a little guardian arcana. Do this. What? There. This is bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try this. Holy. Rude. Like me now. Come on. That was weird. Too easy. I feel stronger. This'll do. I'll heal you. Thank Come you on. so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Come on. You what? won't get now. through. Too much fun with that.
Okay. Yeah, we're definitely... No, no, no! Make it stop! Make it stop! <laughs> Good times. Can we do that again? More like, can we please not? I thought my heart would stop. This icicle has a big crack in it. If we hit it hard enough... Worth a try, right? I don't think a swing of the old weapon is gonna do the trick. Kobe... Just hate resorting to violence. You won't get through. Come on. This is bad. Come on. I got a little prison for you. You won't get through. I'll heal you. Thanks Thank so you. much. Getting better.
Here we go. You what? won't get through. Yeah. Too easy. Just hate resorting to violence. You won't get through. Here's a little guardian arcana. Over there! Ah! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. I'm so sorry, Rudy. <laughs> Don't cry, Livy. You're safe now. That's two down. Let's hurry up and rescue the others.
Let's do this. You what? won't get through. Now I've done it. Now you're in for it. Oh, they got me. Whoa! You won't get okay. through. You okay? okay? Come on. Thank get you back so in much. it. Yeah, 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 yeah! Uh. Oh. Uh. You what? won't get now. through. Now. Noah, you Grace. okay? Hana. You picked the wrong fight. You what? won't get through. Here's a little guardian arcana. Ah! Yeah! Ah! No! Suck it! I got a little prison for you. You what? won't get through. for you.
You what? won't get Here's through. Here's a little guardian arcana. Don't mess with a guardian. See, nothing to it. I see someone over there. Arlo! I was so scared, Rudy! Well, you're safe now. Is my little brother with you? Thomas? No. He ran further into the cave and... It's okay, Arlo. Thomas is a tough kid. He can take care of himself. But there's a really scary monster back there! One who's no match for us. So, one kid left then? Yeah. I'm confident your little brother is just fine, lad. Do this! You what? won't get through!
are mine. Oh, baby! You what? won't get through. Here's a little guardian arcana. I got a little prison for you. You what? won't get this'll through. do. Noah, you Thanks. okay? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, got him. Ha. It's easy. <laughs> I feel stronger. Anybody get real cold all of a sudden? Be on your guards, young ones. If you're frightened, hide behind me. There! My brother! D did that thing. Don't even think that for a second. <laughs> you picked the wrong fight. You what? won't get through. Yeah. Oh, thank God! 
me. I got a little prison for you. Doesn't seem good. You what? won't get now. through. I'll heal you. Thank you so much. I'll protect you. My thanks. You won't get through. I'll heal you. My thanks so much. It. That's it! Okay, 
You okay? Thanks. Here we go. You okay? Thanks. Come on. You will get through. I'll heal you. Thanks so much. My duty to keep getting stronger. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, but where's Oh no. Please don't let me be too late. Shared by all. This is the last of the way with children, yes? Sure is. Nice. How can I ever repay you? I'll give you whatever you want. Just name it. That's really not necessary. We just did what anyone would do. Thank you, Miss Guardian. Thank you, Miss Guardian. Thank you, Miss Guardian. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. Pooby? Really not used to this kind of thing. Thanks, Noah. Yeah, thanks, mister. I'm sure Norrister's military would have come if they could. The timing just didn't work out. Yes, I am certain General Electra wished it. It's because the Empire is going to attack us, right? Well, I know it won't make up for what you did, but I want to help you fight them. We'd be grateful. Thank you. Is that why there's an army on the other side of the mountain pass? Because they're going to attack us! Hold. There's an army at the mountain pass? According to the merchant what said he saw him there. Said he went to show him his wares and they tried to lock him up. Happened only yesterday, it did. Hmm. This can only mean one thing. Oh, guys, this stew is incredible. Hmm. Warms you right down to your bones. I'm gonna go grab another bowl. You've already had three. <laughs> I think it best we return to Athrobolt with all speed. 
If the Empire's army is on the far side of the pass, they'll likely attack ere long. Good point. We'll move out soon. Look, I really don't have time to chat unless you happen to... Okay, hey, look at that. You've got one. I could really use that for my research. Don't suppose you'd let me take a closer look. Oh yeah, see? Check it out. This rune is killer. You know the way light dances on the water? It's vibrancy, it's power, and you can imbue all of that right into your lens. Speaking of which, which one of my little goddesses can I talk your ear off about today? I won't quit until I've discovered every last thing about every last room lens. Anyway, thanks for the save. I made the observations I was hoping to. Did you need something? What's your name? It's Noah. I'm looking for people willing to join the Alliance. Wait, you're Commander Noah? No wonder you came through for me. They say you found a primal lens. Although it really chaps my hide that the Dukes and the Empire are using it for nefarious purposes, if those rumors are true. You know what? I've decided. I'm going with you. Welcome to the... Call me... All right. You all have my gratitude for aiding that village in its time of need. No need to thank us. I mean, we offered. Exactly. Yeah, never mind us, Max. Don't you have some icy general lady to go report to? I mean, she's all you talked about on the road. Hmm? Uh, yes? Of course. Ah, uh, to see even a hint of a smile grace that icy face would be a reward more valuable than any treasure. Seriously? I assumed you, of all people, would understand this, Noah. But if not, I assure you the day will soon come when you do. For love is what changes mere boys into men. If you say so. <sighs> Someone's coming. Marissa, Alwi, Noah. What's wrong, Nil? Your non is in danger. What? Baby, baby. Okay, what's going on? 
We have just received a report of strange tidings in the Great Wood outside Yarnan. An Imperial invasion? No army has been sighted as yet, but forest creatures are said to be fleeing the woods in droves. Strange tidings indeed. Think maybe it's related to that King of the Revenants guy? Oh, but this is madness. Not only is the Kinani army nowhere to be seen, but the Eucrisian army, which departed before them, has yet to arrive. What are we going to do? I will dispatch troops to investigate the situation at once. Thank you. We'll go back there right away. Sounds like we're in a race against time. Again! Maxim, I'm putting you in command of this. Lead your troops to Yarnan and work in tandem with the brave warriors of the Guardians. Yes, General. No. No! I won't allow it! Absolutely not! Your Majesty. Out of the question? Why? For all we know, this is some kind of Imperial diversion. With our League of Nations allies yet to arrive, I'll not spare a single soldier from the defense of Athrobalt. That is an order, General! Wait, but... With respect, Your Majesty, the Guardians are a crucial ally. We owe it to them and ourselves to... Since when is it your place to decide what's best for this kingdom? You think to supersede my decision? What utter gall! I've half a mind to relieve you of command! <sighs> Forgive me, Your Majesty. I spoke hastily. Blast it all! Where are those reinforcements? Don't they realize the League of Nations is in peril? Okay, now what? General Electra, I must object. <sighs> the King has spoken, and we will honor it. I apologize, noble guardian warriors, but we can send you no aid. <sighs> Let's get out of here, Noah. Right behind you. General, we're going to Yarnon. When Periel arrives, could you please explain the situation to her? Of course. I hope everyone in the village is all right. Baby Pooh. They are. I won't let anyone lay a finger on my village. Marissa! It's good to be together. General Electra, I... Ugh. I will not defy a royal order, Maxim. My hands are tied. Also, I'm not even sure King Salas is wrong. This easily could be a diversion. They say it was a surprise attack from Aldric's Legion that sealed Eltisvice's fate. If Norister should fall before our allies can assemble in her defense, the League of Nations will collapse and a great many will suffer. I do not want that. I and the army exist for the people. I cannot undermine discipline by disobeying an order. I must stay bound by my guiding principles. I understand, General. 
Thank you for what you did for Skris, and for the intel about the army beyond the peak. While I cannot mobilize our troops, I've not revoked your command. Make sure your company is ready to move the moment I give the order. <gasps> of course, General. What the heck does strange tidings mean anyway? It means we better hurry back and see for ourselves. I just hope there is still time. We'll make it. We have to. Now let's move. R right. Everything looks pretty normal to me. I think we made it back in time. Let's go see the Grand Warden. Noah, you're back. We heard strange things were afoot out here. Did you figure out what's going on? No, but the signs are looking worse all the time. In fact, a bunch of patrols I sent out haven't returned. One was a team of hardened vets, too. Taking them down would be no easy feat. What could possibly be doing all this? It's gotta be that Skeleton King guy, right? Him and his army of revenants or whatever? Ah! That... noise! Nil? What's wrong? What was that?
The concealment magic will not hold much longer. They will soon learn what is happening. But it is no matter, for we have the numbers we need. Ah! My soulless liches will overrun this place and steal nourishment from the living. The lens demands payment in blood. To sate it is my duty and my eternal wish. And sate it you shall, as agreed. going on? It feels like lens magic, but the power is vast. Also, something about it feels terribly wrong. An enemy attack, maybe? Okay, what the hell are those things? Are they revenants? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I sense the power of a rune lens, and not just any lens. This one seems to be calling to the revenants, sustaining them somehow. Please tell me that entire army isn't coming for us. No! Please, no! What do we do? Run! Run! Wrong! Running is the one thing we won't do! This village is special to me! I live here! I grew up here! And there's no way I'm gonna let a bunch of damn corpses defile my home! Marissa. That's right! We can't let them take Yarnan! They'll pay the price for underestimating us! We'll fight to our last breath! Enough! All of you! Think for a second. There's no way we can fend off a horde like that with our numbers. So what are you saying? Just hand the village over to them? If we don't, they'll kill us and take it anyway. Fine! Then they kill us! I'd rather die than watch a bunch of undead freaks sully my home! Don't do this! You'd be throwing your lives away! This is my home we're talking about, Noah! I know, and no home is worth dying for. The Empire overran my town and burned my home to the ground. But we ran, which is why Aunt Martha and the other villagers are still alive today. We didn't lose the one thing that matters, each other. But this town matters to me, damn it! Enough, Marissa. It's not like you to lose your cool like this. But I have to do something! I respect how much you love this place. I do. But let's get our priorities straight. You and everyone else come first, then this place. You're family to me, Marissa. All the Guardians are. If we lose our town, our homes, fine. We rebuild, but there's no rebuilding if you die. The world needs guardians too much for us to throw our lives away. And yeah, maybe there comes a time where we have to do that. But this ain't it. 
I agree, Marissa. You are very important to me. So please, for my sake, don't say something so sad. Poppy! <sighs> all right. I get it. Then we're all on the same page. We Guardians need to get everyone out of here. So long as we're alive, we can keep fulfilling our duty, no matter where we end up. With your blessing, Grand Warden? Yes, but first we must stall for time so the children and others can escape. Now that's something worth risking our lives for. Guardians, secure the entrance to the village! It sounds like we have work to do, Marissa. <sighs> we can't let a single revenant through until the evacuation is complete. Move out! <sighs> Will you fight at our side, Noah? Huh. Do you even need to ask? Then let's go! Over here! They'll be honest before you know it! It's a relief to know you're fighting at our side, Noah. Okay, I'll be here if you need me! Uh, hello? Yes, but you always are. Enemy sighted! Marissa! Noah! You take that side! On it! Resorting to violence. Let's try this. Come oh, on, thanks. thank you so much. Activating room. Of 
got a little prison for you. Stood a chance against this training. We won! <laughs> I do feel different. We got him! <sighs> Bought ourselves a moment's rest at least. Nope. Scratch that. More incoming. Let him come. You're mine. Kobibi! Kobibi! Help me! This may sting. Set them inside the village. Marissa, Noah, Nell, don't fall behind. You either, are we? I've been promoted to afterthought. Joy. Here until everyone has escaped. Agreed. Hobby Pool. They're here. Ready. Eliminating target. Ah! Ah! Now I've done it. Come on! Oh! This'll do. Always. Thanks. You okay?
This feeling must be what you call fed up. Pretty much. Hmm. I believe I have deepened my understanding of your emotional states. So how fed up are you? I am... extremely fed up. Is now really the time for this conversation? Let's do this! This may sting. Too easy. I do feel different. All right, let's fall back a little more. Remember, we're just playing for time here. Okay, let's try to buy him a little time from this position. I have many wonderful memories here. And now look at it. Marissa. This is my house. My home. Kobe! It's true that we have to leave here for now. We'll come back one day and reclaim it all! You're right. We will. We must. Then let's go win this thing! Let's do this! This may sting. Coming. 
Guardians. Just speaking the name vexes me. But time has robbed them of much of their former strength. Come, my liches! Bring this land under my dominion! Is he the one behind this? I'm gonna take him down. Easy, Marissa. No throwing our lives away, remember? We keep a level head, analyze the situation, and take the optimal course of action. That's the Guardian way. I have your back, Marissa. So please, do not put yourself in any needless danger. You've got no one and me too. Remember that. I just hate resorting to violence. Now! I'll heal you! Thank you so much! Gotcha! Help me! This may sting. Time to withdraw everybody, and I mean everybody. All right. This is not goodbye, Marissa. We'll return to this village one day. It is my home too, after all.
We finally made it. Everyone who left the village ahead of us should already be here. Noah! Marissa! Maxim? I heard your village was overrun, and I'm grievously sorry I was not there to help. All the evacuees have been taken to the castle. Thank you. I do not deserve your gratitude. You helped me save my people, yet I was unable to aid yours. It's not your fault, Maxim. What's the situation here? Countess Periel has arrived, along with the Eucristian army. She has asked you and Marissa to join her at the castle for a summit. Got it. Thanks. So, Periel and the others are here? <laughs> Sounds like they're having quite a party without us. Let's go crash it. Periel, Sane, you two came to help? Naturally. We heard what happened at the Guardian's village. That must have been quite the ordeal. We're here to fight with you, and thank goodness we made it in time. I advised His Majesty to remain in you, Chris. You and you, Lin, both try to dissuade me. I admit, I may not be able to contribute much, but I still felt I should fight with you. Symbolically, I suppose. Most gracious majesty, your presence here will make the next step go more smoothly. What step is that? We have called a summit with Norister and Kenon. Before we face the Empire, there is another battle to win. Here we suffer again. Don't you mean, here we go again? Here we go, suffer again. I believe we are all assembled. The last time we gathered like this was to negotiate the Norsfarian purchase with Aldric. But the world is a very different place now. And where do things stand with the Dukes? General Electra, if you would. 
Yes, Your Majesty. This information comes on behalf of intelligence supplied by Commander Noah of the Alliance and the Valiant Guardian Marissa. There is a strong possibility the Imperial Army will invade Norister via White Crown Pass in the Ega Northcaps. The Alliance, is it? So, they've given a name to the untrained rabble that pulled you, Chris, out of the fire. I'm not certain that's the best way to, um... Correct. It is better to say they saved us. We'd not have held the enemy at bay without their help, and neither will you. Duke Zaldric commands tremendous power. His army is so great that even the combined might of our three nations cannot hold him back. We need the strength of every nation in the League, and Commander Noah and the Alliance have proven themselves capable of bringing people together. Our castle has welcomed allies from every race, from the Shi'arks to the Tree Folk. Hmm. And here I thought it was young Countess Groom hatching all these petty plans. Hmm. Bless you, Highness. <laughs> Noah, was it? The young lady has little skill when it comes to hiding her ambitions. But what cause have you to fight? My cause? It's to protect as many people as I can. Ha! That seems a rather simple-minded way to look at the world. I've seen too many things in this war, and seen too many people dragged into it against their will. It has to stop. I believe that now more than ever. <laughs> a fine answer, spoken with the fire of youth. But the young commander would be wise to remember that passion alone cannot win a war. Or perhaps such passions are precisely what is needed. Hmm. Humans are eager creatures, quicker to profess than they are to practice. I hope there's more to his words than wind. Perhaps His Highness might first explain the absence of the Kinani army. Will they be arriving before or after the battle? We had more immediate concerns. Just before we set out, someone set fire to a number of the outposts we were using to provision our army. It forced us to transport supplies from more remote outposts, which delayed the march. The work of the Dukes. Most likely, confound him. That is distressing. If the Empire reaches us before the Kinani army, any hope of victory will be dashed. I assure you, we are moving as quickly as we can. And if that is not enough? then we'll just have to slow the Empire down. Bold words. Have you a plan? If you can provide a map of White Crown Pass, I will see it accomplished. So, this alliance of yours can handle a mission of such consequence? We can and will, Highness. <laughs> then by all means, let us see what the mighty young leader can do. I trust there are no objections. 
Commander Noah? I've learned never to doubt you when you're up to something. Let's do it. <sighs> I knew we would waste time fencing with one another over who is the bigger leader. Duke Zaldric understands the League's pressure points. Who knows what else he'll try besides attacking Keenan's provisions? I don't know squat about this Aldric person, but he already sounds like an insufferable ass. Oh, I think you and I are going to get along very nicely. So what's the plan to slow him down? I will require a little time to hammer that out. You've only just arrived and must be tired, Commander. Why don't you take your ease at the inn? We should head to Maxim's and help get the villagers settled in. Yes, I'm certain more will be arriving in the coming hours and days. So, don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but uh, are you sure you'll come up with a plan in time, mate? It's that, or I'll have to start entertaining the idea of losing. Melridge could have at least dropped a hint about how we're going to slow the amps down. I wonder what sort of plan he has dreamed up for us. For now, we should get some rest. I wonder if Melridge has worked out his plan. Thank you for giving me time, Commander Noah. Did you come up with anything? I believe I have. 
must you all work through the night like this? You really should take better care of yourselves. The boss can be pretty strict, but working with him is fascinating. Let's discuss the operation. Miss Iris, if you would. True to its name, White Crown Pass is covered year-round in heavy weather, but in a bit of good news for us, it's also prone to avalanches. And are we expecting one of those soon? No. So we're going to cause one instead. Uh, we can do that? We've carefully pored over the maps we were provided to study the peak's shape. We have identified three locations where, with a sufficient explosion, we could trigger controlled avalanches and impede the Imperial Army's progress. Do we need all three? Yes, that's the only way to get enough volume to bury the pass. What kind of explosions are we talking here? Magic? Nope. We'd need way too many people to produce that much firepower. We're gonna use imp tech called runic charges. I've seen them in action before. They pack quite a punch. Runic charges? If such a thing exists, I'm not privy to it. They're a type of explosive that was in production at our research facility. Raw lens power is what creates the blast. I wasn't directly involved, but I heard he'd been using them on the down low. He is in the Dukes? That makes sense, actually. Aldrich has been focusing his efforts on channeling the rune lens's power into weapons anyone can wield. Those charges must be one such product. I understand his reasoning, as the power of a rune lens depends on individual talent. They are difficult to put to military use. We also wouldn't have the rune tank without the Dukes' funding. But nothing excuses what he's doing at the lab. Agreed. He's crossed a line. Hmm. So that's the kind of man we're up against. Anyway, the charges are pretty unpredictable and can only be manufactured in small quantities. From what I heard, they're only approved for use during special operations. Long story short, me, Ivy and Codel took a crack at making some, based on what Guru and everyone remembered. It requires a special grade of raw lens, but we were able to make just enough, and I guarantee they pack a punch. <sighs> a shame we can't put such a powerful weapon into general use. We'd be hard-pressed to gather enough raw lens at that grade. Oh, another thing! We built a regule that will let us trigger a timed explosion by controlling how quickly magical energy is siphoned off the lens. So the plan is to place those in the three locations you mentioned. Yes, but we must ensure the explosions trigger simultaneously. We should finish the job quickly, since there's no telling when the enemy will arrive. Quite so, which is why I will be asking Commander Noah, Lieutenant Sane, and Guardian Marissa to lead the three teams that will be placing the charges. Fine by me. Me as well. Yeah, I don't know. You want out? <laughs> Just messing with you. I was about to volunteer. Poo poo poo! The leader of the Alliance, an Imperial dissenter, and one of the Guardian's finest warriors teaming up on a gopher broke mission? 
This will be fantastic publicity. <clears throat> Lady Periel? Nothing. Don't mind me. Right then. Our three team leaders should proceed to White Crown Pass at once. The rest of us will be right behind you. Once you reach the pass, be ready to split into your respective teams. The pass is north of here, in case you get lost. Let's get going, everyone. The Imperial Army can make the crossing any day now. No objections here. We've got this. Very well. Who else will be accompanying you? Glad you took a guardian along. Count me in. Luck to you all. Is everything in place? Ninety percent of our planned expeditionary forces have assembled. They will be ready to march in a few days. Who is the holdout? General Goldwyn? Correct. However, he has been given a formal order on behalf of the throne. He will fall in line. Despite his attempts to stall us. Ha! Huh. What does that fool hope to achieve? Truly. He poses no threat. Regardless, we have a more important matter to discuss. I recently learned that our plans to cross Snowpeak Pass have been leaked to the enemy. It matters not. While we are ready to move out, the Kanani army is still scrambling to amass provisions. You are forgetting another concern. An ambush? Impossible. Our scouts have already determined there are no hiding places along the way for a force of any size. All true. And yet, the League of Nations has someone very clever advising them. Wars are not decided by numbers, but by character, by the resolute, the wise, and the faithful. Many people claim Falsely, I might add, to possess such character. But it's the few who truly have it that will give you trouble, even when you have them outnumbered. Wise words, Your Grace. But I swear my faith and loyalty to you are beyond question. White Crown Pass is north of here. Let's be off. Ooh, so this mission comes down to the three of us. I just hope we can all play nice. What do you mean? Don't you two have some kind of rivalry going on? 
Actually, the one time Sane and I went head to head, he took me down. Victory and defeat are but a breath apart. Really? Interesting. We'll have to spar sometime. Everything is prepared on our side, Commander Noah. That was quite a climb. Uh, sorry we couldn't uh, get here faster. Whew. It's fine. We haven't been waiting long. So from here we split into three teams like we discussed. Correct. If there are no objections, Commander. I would like to commence the operation right away. Better do it before the Imperial Army gets here. <laughs> They'll never know what hit him. Oh, baby! We cannot fail. This is the only way we will buy enough time for the Kinani army to reach Norista. Okay, so let me take you through where the runic charges need to go. Let's start with Sane's team. You'll be placing a charge on the western ridge. I marked the exact location on this map. We will accompany you, Lieutenant. I mean, you can't have an adventure without Team Galdia, right? Hey, up! We'll do this together! Right, Sane? Thank you all. Who else will you be taking? Run 
Ready to hustle! You've come to the right healer. Suppose it's good to see new places. <laughs> Seems like we're the first ones out. Be careful. Yeah, don't slip. That first step's a doozy. Ready to intercept. Not like this. Here we go. Show on this. Brunens activated. Without incident. Ah, I never stop impressing myself. According to Miss Iris's instructions, this should be the first location. Okay, but there's no way forward. So be it. We'll just wait here a spell. I imagine that Marissa girl is probably hitting the trail right about now, huh? She should be, yes. So she's a guardian, eh? I bet nothing scares that one. Girls like her are keepers, I tell you that. Say, saying, you wouldn't mind if I took a crack at a little international diplomacy, would you? International diplomacy? Yeah, you know, maybe just... Second Lieutenant. What? I didn't even get specific. It's our turn to leave, right? Yes, we've finished verifying the detonation site. You are clear to proceed. This will be a good chance to put in some practice before we hit the real battlefield. You're coming? Of course I am. You think I came all this way just to let you have all the kicks? Besides, you lucked out. Any mission with me on the roster is guaranteed easy breezy. May I join you as well, Marissa? Of course, no. You're always welcome. Thank you. This pleases me. 
wave, on the other hand, I'll just have to put up with. Hey, not nice. When you were widow, you used to follow me around everywhere. Called me Wei Wei, remember? <sighs> when are you gonna let that go already? <laughs> Who else will be accompanying you? Alwi and Lilowen seemed keen to come along. <laughs> I've totally got this! To be clear, I won't stand for any reckless fighting. You will be under my protection. All right, let's head out. Uh, Wave? You're not the captain here. I am. Pooh! Right. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're just so darn adorable when you take charge. Ah, <laughs> uh, seriously? <laughs> You're going to be great, Marissa. All right. Marissa, I'm sending your team to the Eastern Ridge. Does the map make sense to you? Map and terrain scan complete. I have set a waypoint for the detonation site. Perfect. Let's get moving. You're all right, Lean. Hey, the runes always smile on this lucky girl. Yes, I am well aware. So, what you doing here? <sighs> what are we doing here? We're in the middle of trying to slow the Imperial Army's advance. Interesting. Very interesting. I thought trouble might be brewing and, <laughs> by gum, my intuition was spot on. Guess I'll just have to help out. Right. Let's get this show on the road! <sighs> <laughs> it feels
feels nice to travel with you again, Lean. to be cliche, but are we there yet? Scanning terrain and comparing against map data. No, we are only halfway. Oh, what's the matter, Marissa? You fizzling out already? You were always a ball of energy in the Greatwood. Guess the mountains aren't quite your playground? I'm not fizzling. Guardians don't fizzle. But, uh, yes, I suppose I do prefer the forest. You just feel the life all around you there, you know? Waxing poetic so she doesn't have to keep climbing. Clever. I am not. <laughs> Come on, let's keep at it. Yes. According to Miss Iris's projections, we're supposed to be the first group to reach our position. <laughs> okay, it's on. What? You asked for it. Here comes the wing. Rune. Eliminating target. For you guys, Arcana for the win. We won. <laughs> I do feel different. Adventuring like this reminds me of when I first met you and Nil. You mean the Rune Barrows? Where we found her? My contiguous memory begins the moment I met you two. It is a very special moment. I made certain to create several backups. I remember how surprised I was when you all came back to the village. I never met such unusual people. Hey, I'm not unusual. I mean, outside of being exceptionally lucky and blessed. 
I disagree with your suggestion that Lean and I belong in the same category. <laughs> we should be nearing the location the luscious professor told us about. Oh, we're at Luscious now? Referencing terrain. Initiating sonic scan. This is the place, with certainty. Great! Now let's go set that runic charge thingy. I've got places to go, people to see, busy girl over here. You're wandering off on another adventure? Noah's already worried about you, you know. Ah, it'll be fine. I trust him, he trusts me, no big deal. I'm placing the charge. The runic charge is armed and in position. Beautiful! Another mission in the bag! What would you say I contributed this time? 70%? More? I hope Noah and Sane are having similar luck. Hobby? Alrighty, team, it's our turn to hit the road. Take it away, Noah. You know, when we first set off to explore the barrows with the kid, I never thought it would spiral into a mess like this. The world works in mysterious ways. You can say that again. <laughs> Still... Such things are what makes life interesting. Come on, kiddo! We ain't gonna let Sane and Marissa outdo us, right? Get those legs moving! Since when is it a competition? Who else do you wish to join you? Try my best. Ready for action. Great, I'm in. Here's the charge. Your assigned location is Northern Ridge, right? Yeah, I've already got it implanted in the old noggin. This mission is in good hands. And you remember the rest of the briefing? All of it? Yep, absolutely no problem. Like I said, good hands. Great hands, in fact. Excellent hands. Well, we know Leon is functioning correctly. Thing, if not consistent. Consistently adorable, consistently dashing, consistently Leon. Which is what we're afraid of. <laughs> well, Captain, you ready to lead the watch one more time? Yep, let's get moving.
Huh? Wait, Leanne, isn't this the place Ms. Iris mentioned? The what? Uh... Look out, Noah! Kravos, dead ahead! Phew, good thing I didn't forget the briefing. You definitely forgot the briefing. I made you think I did. Yikes. No way we're getting across this. One has to admire Ms. Iris's expertise. She was able to visualize these obstacles merely by looking at a map of the terrain. Just goes to show, wars are fought by more than just the folks swinging the swords. Agreed. We never would have gotten this far without everyone's help. Let's give the lieutenant the signal. If everything went smoothly, his team should be in place. Ooh, I want to do this part. About to yell. Wrong! I was gonna yodel! Any kind of noise can be enough to set off an avalanche, Leon. I'll just use my rune lens to send a visual signal instead. There it is, sir. Noah's signal. I've got eyes on where they're cut off. Good. Paul, make your preparations. On it! Okay, let's see. Based on her projections... Okay, there. I checked my calculations against Ms. Iris's map and put the marker in position. We're good to go. The rest is up to you, Lieutenant. Right. Feels like I've seen this picture before. She said it would. Those behind the scenes folks really know what they're doing. Aren't we all behind the scenes on this mission? Fair enough. Let's give Sane the second signal. There's the second signal, sir. Looks like Noah's team will be able to cross. That's one objective down. Now we just have to place the bomb. Right. Let's go. Based on Miss Iris's map, we should be approaching the detonation site. Yeah! This is the place! Time to bust out the runic charge! I designed the lens regule, Code L took care of the raw lens refinement and magic siphoning, and Ivy engineered the yield adjuster mechanism. I read Code L's dissertation back when I was living in the Empire. 
dreamed of meeting him, let alone collaborating with him. And Ivy works with such finesse. I mean, that mechanism is like a living thing. I clearly have a lot to learn. Sounds like Paul's got a new favorite girl. Better keep that passion in check before Sylvie gets jealous. What? Hey, no! It's not like that at all! <laughs> what do you think, Sane? How bad has Paul got it? No! I don't have anything! I may be the wrong person to ask, but I don't think there's anything wrong with Paul falling for someone. Which I didn't! Let's save the horseplay for the Academy Barracks, yes? Right now, we should set the charge and head back. <sighs> exactly! Thank you! What she said. Okay, that should do it. The regule will ensure that all three charges detonate at the appointed time. This is going to be quite the show. Let's just hope Noah and Marissa had equal success. Yes, let's hope indeed. Now that the crevasse is filled in, we should be able to proceed. Are you sure it's safe? We're not gonna, you know, whoosh through the snow? It seems to have settled well enough. Still, it never hurts to be careful. How much further to the detonation site, Leanne? We there yet? Yep. I mean, sure. I mean, I think so. I thought we were in excellent hands. Uh, watch it, kiddo. I've been doing this job days longer than you. Now, where did I put that map? I'm fairly certain this is the place. What? Uh, Mimi, you remember? Miss Iris had already given me a look at the map when you snatched it away. Huh. Lady knows how to set up a contingency plan. <laughs> Very funny. Noah, just set the charge already and make it snappy. Yeesh. What did you do for fun in the two days before I came along? All set. Now we just wait for go time and kaboom! The imps are going to find White Crown Pass to be significantly less passable. Then turn around and go home if we're lucky. But even if not, it'll cost them a whole bunch of time. I would like to think so, but nothing is a given considering the craftiness of the Dukes. Shall we head back, Noah? Yeah. 
Let's hope Sane and Marissa manage to pull their side of this off. I don't see why not. Both are leading exceptional teams. <laughs> yup. I mean, we can't be the only perfect ones. Damn right. The sands are with us. Bring me if you can. Not doing good here. Bring me if you can. You okay? Training is the friend that never betrays you. Keep it up! We're almost there! All according to plan so far. If this works, and we manage to stall the Empire... So... My master's suspicions were on the mark. Who's there? A king walks this way, and all the rats can do is scurry and defile. I cannot abide such wickedness. Ah, pawn of Aldrich. Full of yourself. Got it. Of course he'd have someone sniffing around here. Stay sharp, everyone. This is no ordinary foe. Yeah, I feel it too. We're in big trouble. No. Repent in blood! Any last words? Bring me if you can. Bad shit. 
shape. What? Let this be the end of it. He's way too tough. You cannot harm me. My spirit is hardened steel. My fealty unassailable. And that, and that, is the last truth you will ever know! Noah! Uh, who's this guy? General Heinrich. An Imperial General. Sounds like a fight's brewing. No, we don't fight this man. We run. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence! That's not why we should run. What do you mean? Tick, 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 boom. What have you done? Quickly, everyone! I'll kill you yet! You maggots! Is everyone all right? Our team's all accounted for. Ours too. Likewise. Also, guardians don't die on mountains. Wait, where's Lean? You don't think she... Lean was here? She's fine. Took off a while ago, actually. Something about having things to do. Also concerning. So you recognize that guy, Hildy? He's Aldrich's man. The Dukes gave him a seat at the table in exchange for quelling a rural uprising. He's usually quite level-headed, until the wrong thing sets him off. You don't say. Why do I feel like we're gonna run into him again? What matters now is that the operation was a success. We should hurry back to Athrobalt. Good idea. We've got a head start, and we should use it. You should all be proud of what we accomplished here. Guess we'll start back too. Real battle's still ahead of us. The plan was a success. We have much to celebrate. 
Now we need to prepare for a direct confrontation with the Dukes. We heard the operation was a smashing success, Noah. Skillfully executed, Commander. You've delayed the Imperial invasion for weeks, at least. Any tidings from the Kinani army? They're preparing to march and will arrive in Athrobolt in several days. Now we can face the Duke's forces at our full strength. I'm going to wash that smirk off his face with his own tears. And yet, I still have two concerns. The Revenant Horde and the Kinani army's sluggish pace. They must still be struggling to stay provisioned. Pardon the intrusion, ma'am. Yes? What is it? I have a message from our scouts stationed near White Crown Pass. The Empire is conducting a large-scale construction effort to bypass the demolished trail. What? How long until they break through? They've deployed massive numbers of laborers and engineers. I'd say we have only a matter of days before they march on Athraboth. This can't be happening. Damn you, Aldric. He clearly planned for the possibility the pass might be compromised. More significantly, this tells us Duke Aldric has taken full control of the Empire and isn't afraid to wield his newfound power. We ran into one of his generals in the pass. It's clear he wasn't just there to look around. Electra, your counsel! The Kinani troops will reach us in time, yes? I will send a runner and request they make haste, Your Majesty. However, it is anyone's guess which army will reach Athrobalt's walls first. If they arrive simultaneously, it will throw our plan into chaos. We must stall the Empire. And what do you propose? We take the troops we have and bring the battle to them. That will slow their advance and buy us time. Once we unite with Kinan's troops, we can fight a more decisive battle. It's the only choice now that waiting is off the table. But can we win? There are no absolutes in war, but you either grab the beast by the horns or get gored by it. I concur with General Electra's proposal. It's the only choice. Looks like we'd best brace for some rough days ahead, Noah. Yeah. I should have seen this coming. I hate, hate, hate that stupid man and his stupid filthy smirk! Ugh! You can't do him in with words, Periel. Well, I'm sure it's everything going to try! <clears throat> in any case, the Alliance must fight the next battle without Kenan's assistance. I'll ready the troops at once. Cassius, about the matter we spoke of? Of course, sire. His Majesty, King Yuma, has decreed the Alliance take temporary command of Eucharist's army. The Empire's might is vast. We cannot defeat them if we continue to behave like sheep with too many shepherds. Henceforth, you may give me orders as you see fit. Is this acceptable, Noah? 
I know you can lead us through this battle, so I wish to remove every obstacle. Thank you, Yuma. <sighs> King Yuma. It's fine, Cassius. If that's settled, I'll include the Eucrisian forces in my preparations. Commander Noah, you should rest. But I want to help. You can help by being primed, poised, and ready to act at the crucial moment. That is what a true leader does. Can't have you kneeling over before the big day now, can we? Now go on! Off with you, shoo! Is it me, or did she just kick me out? Not at all. Everyone values you highly, and getting proper rest is among a leader's duties. Exactly. Now let's go find some place to rest our weary bones. Let's get as much rest as we can before the big battle. Agreed. Message from General Electra, Commander. Preparations for the battle are complete, and your presence is requested at the castle. It's been one thing after another for days, but now we're finally at the turning point. Melridge and the others have done all they can to prepare. It's our job to see it through. Yeah, this is it. The final battle. All preparations are in place, Commander Noah. Our scouts report the Imperial Army is nearing the intercept location. We must strike a mighty blow, dull their momentum, and buy enough time for the Kinani army to reach Athrabalt. That is our only objective. Yar! The waterships what bore us here were... Oh, fearsome indeed! But now that we're on land, the Shi'arks be unstoppable! 
Until your war with the Empire is finished, I'm still on contract. The Guardians stand with you as well. Aldric is going to pay for running roughshod over the forest. Me and Sylv... I mean, me and the Rune Tank... We'll always have your back. I'm glad to be fighting side by side once more. Go out there and turn that Duke's ugly smirk upside down. We'll be marching alongside the Noristari army at your word, Commander. Let's go. Yeah, I gotta repay those revenants for what they did to your nan. We can't allow Duke Aldrich's crimes against Yelu's people to be repeated. Fight! 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 Yeah! of Norister. On this day, we stop the Imperial Army in its tracks. No nation need fear their cruelty again. With this battle, we tip the scales. And by my life and honor, we shall win the day. Good. Well, now let's see if you can top her when it comes to rallying the troops, Noah. Right. <sighs> Today, we stop the Empire. Today, we defend the people we love. Today, we win! Hmm, not bad. A little reductive, maybe. It will do. All that matters is how it resonated with the soldiers. <laughs> the fools who dared defy his grace now come to lay their heads on the chopping block. Hear me, brave soldiers! Today! We take the next step down the Empire's shining path! Steal your hearts and fight with me! Fight for the glory of Galdir! <laughs> Heinrich won't get the last word. Not today. The Dukes is watching closely, and I shall be the one to deliver victory. We must slow their advance! As discussed, we should focus on Heinrich and Chapel's units. If we can drive back either one, our goal will be achieved. And once the Kinani army joins us in the field, we can put an end to this war once and for all. Now let us fight like lions, Commander! Like lions!
Over there! <sighs> the Revenants? I knew they were working together! Our bones and blades are yours, Imperial comrades. Good! Now, don't stop until you've crushed those League vermin! Stand your ground! Push the Empire back! Those reinforcements are going to make life difficult. Still, their partnership might be more fragile than it looks. Maybe we can defeat the Revenant's leader and sow a little chaos in the ranks. A fine idea. Though it's best we focus our strength in any case. Every ounce of my life, with every fiber of my being, I will stop you. His grace has bid me take this land. Your life means nothing in comparison. to you beyond a wish for your death. Fend them off! 
I have nothing to say to you beyond a wish. For your death. You're that whelp from the mountains. Damn your eyes. You have stood in his grace's way for the last time. Wrong. I lead the Alliance. And I say the Duke's falls this day. For the glory of the Empire! You've got no choice. Retreat and regroup. Upon us, counter attack. How thoughtless it was to raise arms against me. Sorry, we're pulling back. Anyone who needs healing should come to me. Well done. and annihilate the enemy! <laughs> you did well. Breeze of healing! We should retreat! Tell the other- No! What are you cowards doing? You were supposed to win me honor with his grace, not force me to look the fool! Damn you all! <sighs> and he calls himself an Imperial General. That craven cur has sent our troops into disarray. We'll have to fall back and regroup. <sighs> we should withdraw as well. Enough, my liches! Fall back! We... we won? The Imperial forces are retreating! Well done. Phase one of Operation Duke's Tears is in the bag. We did it, Noah! We sure did. Still, that was only our first tilt at them. Best stay on guard. Tell all troops to make ready. They are to reform their lines and await Kinan's forces. Once they arrive, we wage our final battle on Dukes Aldric and the Empire. <gasps> Is something wrong, Melrich? No! It can't be! You have herded sheep together and taught them the basics of combat. For that, I salute you. 
But what say you now, General Electra of Nordstar? What say you, Commander Noah of the Alliance? Shall I give you a place in my army once I have finished subjugating the League of Nations? For war is unending, and we will always have need of fodder. So long as I breathe, Your Grace, there will be no more mistakes! Duke Zaldrick has already arrived? That's some quick military maneuvering. Guess the Supreme General thing is more than a fancy title. Confound him! <sighs> okay, is no one going to mention the giant dragon? How the hell did he get that thing? If I had to guess, the creature is likely a result of the research the Dukes has been conducting on the Primal Lens. When we infiltrated his laboratory, we saw such creatures held in thrall. So it's being controlled? General Electra, we should retreat while... General Electra, ma'am. A message from the Kinarni army. They're only a short distance away. Excellent news. All units, Titan formation. We'll mount a counterattack as soon as they arrive. Dispatch a runner to Kinan. General, I think it wisest to call a temporary retreat to the safety of Arthrobalt. With the Duke's head right there for the taking? Is it your judgment that's lacking, or your esteem for my troops? Or perhaps it's merely arrogance? We may never get a better chance than right now. So we will join the Kinani army and strike with all our might! Elrich, what do you think? There is some logic to what General Electra says. No matter the size of the gamble, it truly might be our best chance. The worst thing we can do is argue over strategy and create division. Too many shepherds, remember? It's my job to prepare for any outcome, so that is what I shall do. The League never does learn. Messenger said they should arrive at any moment. I see them, King Valmors! We made it in time. Hmm. They're here! The Kinani army is here! Maybe now we can actually have a fair fight. Yeah, 
Let's turn the tides. All right. The first step is to merge our troops. A message from General Electra, sire. She requests we unite our troops as quickly as possible and commence the counterattack on the Jukes' forces. Praise them for holding out! Had we come this far only to find our allies defeated, our honor would have been in tatters! King Val Morris? It's remarkable they are still standing. Indeed, sire. The soldiers' efforts to reprovision day and night have been rewarded. But how are they still standing? I'd have thought this matter settled by now. Alas, but we must play the cards we are dealt. I'm sorry, sire. Alert the wife captains of each squadron. Commence an immediate attack on the Noristuri army. See that no mistakes are made. Attack the. What are you saying, King Balmors? Wipe that stupefied look off your face. We have crossed blades with the Noristuris before, have we not? Of course, sire. But surely this is the worst time and place to have a falling out with our current allies. It sounds as if you are questioning my orders. Are you Kingsworn or no? But, sire, this is... Don't tell me you've been communicating with Dukes Aldrich all along. Aldrich has a clear vision for the future, and his ambitions will not end with the annexation of the League of Nations. Better to join with him than that imbecile Salus Bailrant. Through our new union, the Dukes shall grant the Dragon Utes dominion over all the lands of the League. Now, do as I say, and give the order! General Vordis! Heed me, King Sworn. A dragon ute breaks not the ironclad oath. <sighs> Gather the messengers. I have orders for the wife captains. General Vordis. So. All that's left is to defeat the Dukes? Yes, we're nearly there. Yet I am curious why the Kinani army is behaving so erratically in the final hour. Yeah, you're not gonna like the answer to that, mate. What are you talking about? I did a little recon, like the brains here asked me to. The Kanani King issued orders to his squads, all right, but he told him to attack Norrester. What? That's... no. He wouldn't dare. Commander Noah, every moment we spend wringing our hands, I know. Do what you have to. We ought to inform the Norristari army so they can pull their asses out of the fire before it eats them alive. General Electra, call an immediate retreat. Keenan has betrayed us. 
What? No. That's preposterous! You are certain of this, Master Melridge? Very certain, General. I thought it odd the Empire knew about our operation in White Crown Pass and suspected a mole might be to blame. Sadly, our scouts just confirmed it. Please act quickly before you are caught between them. All troops, fall back! Fall back now! So, they've caught on and wasted no time in acting either. Such a clever man they have advising them. Shall we give chase, your grace? No. Let the Keenani army handle that. We have exhausted our troops enough. Reform the lines and let the soldiers rest. So we're letting them go? I have already made arrangements for that. Our victory is guaranteed. Explain yourself, Electra. Why have you fled home with your tail between your legs? Apologies, Your Majesty. The Kinani army betrayed us, and I failed to see it coming. We were able to escape thanks to Master Melridge's swift counsel, but with no small number of casualties at the Dragon Newt's hands. I knew we couldn't trust that scoundrel Val Morris. Well, what do you advise? Though we were able to shake free of the Kinanis, the Imperial and Revenant armies will soon be at our door. And if that happens, our best course is to flee and preserve as many troops as possible until we can seize another opportunity. Well, then do it. Give the order to flee and ready us for departure. But, King Solace, what about the people of Athrobolt? You aren't going to abandon them, are you? If you're so concerned about the commoners, you stay and defend them. In fact, Yes. I order you to stay here and defend the city. What kind of stupid, selfish order is that? You're needed at the gates, General. What happened? They're here, ma'am. The imps are coming! What is that thing? Screams are exquisite. Dulcet music to my ears, delight made manifest. I shall harvest their lives and grant them the pleasure of joining my beloved liches. Are monsters blocking the gates? They look to be some kind of revenant. Also, the living dead are appearing all around the city. And you're saying every gate is blocked? No, Your Majesty. There are monsters at the south, east, and west gates, but the gate to the castle remains unimpeded. Then that's our way out. The citizens don't know what's going on, Your Majesty. They're panicking. If we don't intervene, they'll run right to those fiends at the gates. The slaughter will be enormous. And we're in no place to worry about it. Electra, Noah, do as you will. 
Well, Commander, shall we escape with him? Escape is the wiser course, just as King Salas said. No. We'll clear the gates first and give the people a chance to get away. As your tactician, I would be remiss if I didn't ask the leader of the Alliance to put his own safety first. We need you to live and fight another day. The answer is no. He's made his choice, Melridge. <sighs> to the surprise of none. Well then, it will take too long to mobilize our entire force. Instead, we'll have to send small teams to defeat the monsters at each gate. Is this acceptable? I'll take the personal touch over large-scale warfare any day of the week. Such a Noah thing to say. Yep. Sounds like you could use another meddler. Count me in. I think he's rubbed off on the lieutenant, too. There are three gates we need to cover, right? Wave and I will take the last one. Sure will. We owe this city for taking care of us. Still, it ain't gonna sit well with me if we just scatter to the winds once this is done. Once we clear the gates, we should reconvene here and help the other troops escape. Agreed. I'll work on gathering as many soldiers as I can and prepare to depart. Yes, I suppose it would be wrong not to wait for everyone to get back. Thank you all. I'll stay and defend the castle until we're ready to depart. Best of luck, Electra. Fight like a Valkyrie, General. We'll take the West Gate. We should hurry, sir. The Revenants have already entered the city. would be reckless to just run them all over with silver, uh, with severe prejudice using the rune tank. Yeah, bad idea. The citizens are panicked enough already. Good luck, Sane. Leave it to us. Who else will accompany you? You while I'm here, sis. If you leave me, I'm yours. All right. Let's begin the operation. At once, Lieutenant. Always wanted to be an assistant meddler. I'm so glad he's taking after Noah. Get out! But we'll never make it to the other gates! Stand back! We'll take care of that creature! But... but you're an Imperial soldier! I'm Sane. Sane Kessling. And I fight for the Alliance. 
Now leave this to us! Let me at him! Hit me if you can! Sword! Calibrated! Activating! Face yourself. <laughs> Sword! Here we go. Oh! Runins activated. Oh. Hit me if you can. <laughs> Come, wind! Calibrated. This should work. Pace yourself. Ha -ha! Sword! Here we go. What? Regul released. Oh. Hit me if you can. It's in your hands. Hit me if you can. Activating. Go. Ah. It should work. Pace yourself. Activating. Go. Ah. This is getting. This should work. Calibrated. Activating! Yes! You're done! <laughs> Engaging! Pace yourself! Activating! Thanks. Yes! You're done! <laughs> Hit me if you Here can! Here we go! Face Here yourself. we go! <laughs> Engage me if you can! Activated! This is getting... This should work! Calibrated! Activated! <laughs> Hit me if Calibrated. you can! Calibrated! Activated! Good work. Pace Here yourself. Here we go. <laughs> Hit me if you Here can. Here we go. <laughs> Hit me if you Here can. Here we go. <laughs> Situation double Pace yourself. Activating. Face yourself. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Situation on you. Shape. I'm using this! Engage! 
engage it! Ha! Thank you. Thank you. Thank me later. For now, run! Hurry! The Imperial Army could be here at any moment! If you see anyone dressed like us, turn around and hightail it in the other direction. Got it? We will! Thank you again! It feels strange, warning people to stay away from our own countrymen. We should get going. Lead the way, kiddo. Where you meddle, we follow. Stay alert. There's no telling when the Dukes' forces will reach the city. We want to keep civilian casualties to a minimum, we need to do this quick! Who will accompany you? I'll give it my all. If I must. I'll give it my all. Okay, let's go. Which gate did we say again? The east. Sorry, I 
one! That doesn't even count as exercise! Experience is strength! Alas, yet again my search ends in vain. Oh, where must I venture to partake of the flavor once more? Um, is everything all right? Oh my, forgive me. You caught me musing aloud. Are you a traveler? Good day to you. I am but a humble fox sitting becalmed in the lee of memory. Well, I'm Noah. Is there anything I can do to help? How kind of you to ask. This must be the whims of fate, as I do indeed find myself in dire need of assistance. It just so happens that I'm in the midst of a personal journey, wherein I endeavor to awaken my potential as a bride through culinary competence. Whoa, you're getting married? Congratulations! But should you really be traveling alone? It's all kinds of dangerous out there. Oh, gosh, no. I have yet to find my one true soulmate. And as for the danger, you need not worry. My spear and I can fend for ourselves. However, I am embarrassed to say that my prowess in battle has come at the cost of most other talents. My dear mother has endeavored to teach me what she can, lest I become a spinster. Yet my skill in the kitchen has still been found wanting. Slicing with a knife felt all too cumbersome, so I turned to my spear, and lo, the cutting board was sundered in twain. Rather than simmer gently, clearly inefficient dawdling, I stoked the fires to glorious peaks of flame, yielding naught but charcoal. My miso soup, a truly fundamental dish. Salty mush. My sweets, indescribable lumps of every hue aside the expected one. Found wanting sounds like an understatement. After pushing my mother to wit's end, she showed me the door with an oath and bade me learn the basics of cooking before returning home. And such is how this fox was cast into the wild. So basically, you want to learn how to cook? Oh no! At present, I'm quite incapable. But the item I seek will, I hope, unlock my mind and enable me to understand my problem with more clarity. What are you looking for? I cannot quite recall. It's something I ate when I was little. I think if I had another taste of it, it would spark something. But alas, for all the lands I have visited, I have yet to remember its name, let alone its support. Here is what I can tell you. It contained a variety of vegetables, and such was its flavor that even one bite lifted the spirits, and it had notes of fish, despite not containing any. 
You wouldn't happen to know what it is? I don't know much about cooking myself. Oh, but I bet Kurtz could help. I'll see if I can figure it out. Thank you. I will tarry here and ponder my future. Good day, Noah. Have you had any epiphanies about that recipe I described to you? I'm working on it. Certainly. Should be getting close. There it is. That's our only way out! We'll clear a path! Just hold on! Let's get it done! Perhaps this is to your taste. Chance! Go, go, go! Thanks, mister! <sighs> You're Noah, the Alliance leader! Uh, have we met? My kiddo's getting looked up to by other kiddos. Cut it out, Leon. What? It's nothing to be ashamed of. Come on! Gate's open now! We should head back!
Okay. We've got the south gate. Let's hurry and get the citizens clear before the enemy arrives. Easy breezy. I'm not sure there's anything easy or breezy about this particular moment. Lilowin, it is sometimes best to keep things lighthearted to avoid drops in performance. That's right. We'll be fine. So long as we handle this the way we always do. Like guardians. Who else will be going with you? You're safe in my hands. I'll give it my all! All right. Let's move out. I have pre-analyzed the map and am prepared to navigate. Okay, it's on. Guess we drew the short straw. Here they come. We can take them. Ready for battle. Malfunction detected. Forgive me. Oh, you asked for it. Like me 
Adam Pooley. with a guardian. I had way too much fun with that. Look at me go! <laughs> and stay dead! Again! That leaves only the monster blocking the gate. Ugh, it's a big old sucker too. Oh, I think not. You've caused me enough trouble. Huh? Who's that? I am the Arch Revenant Durad. How dare you interrupt me just as I was savoring this sumptuous blend of terrorized shrieks and moans. I should have known it was you. Well, this works out. Because we have a bone to pick with. Uh, his bones. Oh no, my silly lad. I won't be staying to play with you. I'm afraid you've killed all my interest. No. You'll just have to entertain yourselves with my pretties instead. Get ready! Ready for battle! Attack! Attack! Pretties were pretty underwhelming. Now it's your turn! Oh, I see. You think you have won. 
But the fun is only just beginning. What? They transform? Oh, that's real cute. Farewell, then. Oh, and do enjoy your final living moments. <laughs> You're not getting away! Ah! Marissa, get ready! Two bonus monsters. Yep. Short straw right here. with a guardian. Strong, but still not my league. What? <laughs> I got it. It's over, right? Please tell me it's over. <sighs> I can't believe that dastard got away again. I swear, the next time I see him... Hey, I hate the guy too, but keep your cool. After what he did to our village? He'll pay for that. Plenty. But that's not why we're here. They did it! We're free! 
The Guardian saved us! Okay, tell me that doesn't make you feel a little better. Yeah, all right. I mean, that revenant piece of crap is still gonna pay for your non. But I guess we'll deal with a problem in front of us. <laughs> Works for me. Come on, let's head back. Hopefully the others have returned as well. How'd it go, Marissa? We drew the short straw, as Wave put it. So it took longer than expected. But we got the citizens out. I hope as many people make it to safety as possible. May luck be with them. I guess that means it's our turn. Right. We'll make for the town of Twinhorn in the east, then use the ferry to retreat to Eucharist. There's a ferry? We must cross the broad water between Norister and Eucharis. It's choppy, to say the least, and will be a rather uncomfortable journey. Why not use Carrie's teleportation zappy stuff? That's fine for a small group of people, but we could never move all the soldiers in time. The resulting casualties would mean we could never restore the army to strength. Yeah, and I'm not ready to abandon hope completely. Whatever we do, let us be quick. The Imperial and Kinani armies are closing in as we speak. Right. General Electra! Report, soldier. The soldiers can't have all escaped. Find them. And I want them alive if at all possible. Y yes sir! General Vordis, I... Speak. Is this... Is this truly right? I know I ought not question it, but... Say no more. For now, we do only what we must. There's no telling whether allowing them to escape will spare them their fate, or hasten it. The Kinani army is inside the city. Sooner than expected, too. Uh, that's not good, considering we haven't finished gathering our troops. Some of them might still be trying to reach us. Then we'd better stall for time. Good idea. I'll handle them while the rest of you... No. What? I must ask that you leave this to me. But I can do this. You want to protect people, right? If so, the best thing you can do is leave with the others and keep them safe. But I can... Remember at the summit, when you said you wanted to protect as many people as possible? King Solas laughed at you, and Val Maurice all but called you a liar. But I can see that you're genuine, and I believe desires like yours have the power to bring people together. It is so very clear to me now what Countess Periel saw in you. When a noble like me professes high ideals, people are quick to spot the hypocrisy and the lies. But when Noah speaks, his words ring true, because they are true.
true. Which is why you need to let me handle things here. You're going to be needed, Noah. Again and again. Escape today, so you can lead us to victory tomorrow. Besides, I have a debt to repay. Because your king commanded it? That's half of it. Electra. Come on, Noah. Push this any further, and you'll be disrespecting the General's decision. All right. Good. Then let's head east for Twinhorn. May fortune smile on you, General Electra. Don't force this any longer than you have to, General. Maxim, take your soldiers and go. Wouldn't dream of it, ma'am. A warrior of Narastar never abandons his general. I'm asking you this as a personal favor. After war left me an orphan, this town welcomed me with open arms. King Solace looked right past my lowly upbringing and raised me up as his general. He would have continued to be a fine ruler if only the peace had been kept. Regardless, I've yet to repay my debt to him and to the city I failed so miserably to protect. It is only right that I be the last person through these gates, Maxim. It's what I want. I... I see. None of you are required to pursue this fight with me. If you wish to run, I release you. I won't hear of it, General. And if we're asking personal favors now, then I have but one. Don't tell me to abandon the woman I love. Let me stay here and fight until every last drop of my blood is gone. Maxim, what are you... Hey, no fair, Captain! I also want to fight for the General. And me. Thank you all. Exercise. No survivors! No Carter! King Valmaris orders it to be so! <sighs> so this is it. Dad, where are you? Don't be scared. 
scared? You can hide behind me. Reinforcements? Damn! Dad! Sorry I'm late, baby girl. I'm so glad to see you! Milady, you're safe. Commander Noah, my comrades. What's going on? Bell Morris sent a detachment to cut us off. We won't reach the ships unless we fight our way to the harbor. Duke Zaldrick must have predicted we would try to escape this way. So be it. We'll simply have to. I'll blaze a path. Yes, well, that's more or less what I was going to say anyway. Just be careful, please. To lose you would be a crushing blow to the Alliance. I think Melridge has finally given up. I'm going with you, Noah. Well, we've come this far. Might as well see it through. Hey, no fair! I'm going too! Sheesh. This wanting to meddle thing must be contagious. Who else will accompany you? I can! Stay out of everyone's hair. Good luck, everyone. We'll do our best to hold the line here. You're likely to encounter Kinani soldiers all the way to the harbor, so keep a wary eye. While you're at it, I'll assemble the troops. We'll follow as soon as you give us the signal. Go get him! We will, Albie. We'll secure some ships and find a way to get everyone out of here. I promise. Now let's move. Where's the harbor? Are we close? Should be. Once we clear a path to the ships, let's get out of here. Right. Don't let your guard down. There! It's the Alliance! <sighs> Just as we expected. Probably too much to hope they just let us waltz through. Nice monster you got there, creeps. From what I understand, it's a gift from the Empire. And what a remarkable creation it is. Sure enough. The Dukes has been predicting our every step. Doesn't matter. We still have to get through. Yeah. The others are counting on us. Now let's destroy that thing.
Two arms! There! I'll heal you. Thanks. Take the kill. Hard fought, but we won. This is a valuable experience. <sighs> Not bad at all. Uh, what was it again? Lieutenant? It's Sane Kessling. You've got some impressive skills as well, Guardian Warrior. Let's keep going. We're almost at the harbor. This is Phil News indeed. They... They sank all the ships. That must have been the Kinani Detachment's objective. Unless we make the crossing, it is only a matter of time before the Empire and Kinan have us cornered. No wonder the Dukes didn't pursue us more vigorously. 
He had already given the detachment their orders. Unacceptable. This was not the plan. What happened to Operation Duke's Tears? He's probably flashing that hideous grin of his as we speak. <sighs> but it is infuriating. If he's so gifted a commander that he can read our every move, then yes, your ladyship, that is most infuriating indeed. So this is it then. The final hour. No way! I mean, what if we fix the ships or whatever? We can't. The Kinanis were too thorough for that. We'd be lucky to string together a single raft. Besides, the Empire would be on us long before we finished. It seems the Kinanis managed to do their job and close the escape route. Now, we need only go in for the kill. Get them. Yes, yes sir! Oh no, the Imperial Army. Dad, I'm scared. I don't suppose we could uh, <laughs> surrender and get off with a slap on the wrist? Hmm? Anyone? No? Okay, no. We could rally our troops and make a stand. But the odds are firmly stacked against us. So there's nothing we can do? <gasps> Noah? <sighs> I'll go. My head they want. If I turn myself in, they... Listen to yourself. That's not meddling. It's just stupidity. Don't you dare. Seriously, wait! Do you really think turning yourself in will protect us somehow? Wait, guys! Guys, wait! Well, I haven't heard any other workable ideas. No, really, wait! These guys are terrible people. They'll probably kill you on the spot and then come for us anyway. We should run at them, fight like demons. It might work. Would everybody just listen already? I suppose we could try surrendering collectively. I suppose that's one way to go. Would you please just... Shut up and listen! Sheesh, Leanne. You don't have to yell. Apparently I do, because you've all got mud in your dang ears. Now listen! She's right. Everyone be quiet. Someone's singing? I'll be trying, lass, but this ain't as easy as navigating the sand. Yar, be it safe to be sailing out here on all this briny blue? Hold fast, lads. If ye fall in, it'll melt your bones. 
great Seach in the sky. I'm too young to dissolve. I want to die on the Seach. Stop your blabbering. Be ye men or be ye sharks. Our lives are a small price to pay to be saving our friends. Ain't that right? That's you, Lin, and the Sharks. Gosh, just look at all the ships. Poor baby. Does this mean? Looks like you get to keep your head attached to your shoulders for another day. <laughs> for an old castle, the blasted thing is stubbornly built. Took me ages to rust the door. Now then. My name is Chapel Winlart. And I am your newly appointed governor by decree of the Galdean Empire. I give you this proclamation. Henceforth, this city shall be known as Eastlert. The old name is hereby abolished, and any refusing to use the proper name will face swift punishment. Be silent! Your civic status in the Empire shall be second class, with the exception of the Betailed, who shall be third class. Be silent! I will not say it again! Fortunately for you wretches, His Grace Dukes Aldrich is both merciful and generous. Any who possess or is attuned to a rune lens will be awarded the rights of a first-class citizen and fast-tracked as a potential officer in the Imperial Army. This is, I assure you, a very lucrative offer. If you believe you are eligible, present yourself at the governor's office post-haste. 